Hello everybody and welcome back to Warframe. In this one we're going to be taking a look at how to get Frost. Now Frost drops on Ceres uh, and like almost every other planet on the way, on the way here uh, it drops from the assassination mission which is Exton. Now this one for me uh, kind of serves a little bit like a, a skill gate or a skill check. Uh, this is kind of like a Dark Souls, Dark Souls term but um, essentially in this one you're going to have almost all of the tough stuff that you've faced so far thrown at you one day. Uh, and what I mean by that is you're going to be facing Lek, Krill and Thor at the same time, both with obviously higher stats, so higher health and damage um, than we've obviously faced them previously. So with that in mind, I'd, I advise you tank up, so bring along someone Rhino. Now I'm using Bolt in this one just because um, I like Bolt. And I assume everybody will have one of the Star Wars Warframes by now. <laughs> well, you're obviously going to have Star Wars. You should have most of them anyway available. Um, so with that, make sure you bring in plenty of shield, uh, as many defensive mods as you like, so redirection. I used redirection and auger record, uh, but I didn't bring any other defensive mods to kind of make it somewhat similar defensively, so you guys can put things like steel, steel fiber and bit, uh, vitality on, and, if, and bigger if you got it as well, would be pretty good. Uh, so to make this fight manageable, once you encounter Thor and Electrill together, move away, uh, and this will make Thor separate from Electrill. Uh, Lecro will have to go down the steps and stuff, whereas Hawk can kind of teleport down. Um, take him on his own. Sorry about that, I just had a bit of a, a, bit of a weird hiccup there. Um, target on his own. I used Volt's shields to kind of increase my damage a little bit with some electricity damage, but probably won't need that if you've got, if you've got uh, Rhino who likes the heck or something like that. Good shotgun. Uh, Pour bullets onto onto Vorks, obviously, he doesn't really have uh, much in the way of defenses. It just has like a weird regeneration thing. Knock him down three times, and that'll take four out of the fight. From to Lek Krill. Uh, again, much like this last time he faced Lek Krill, uh, target his pipes on his back, bait him into doing, into doing melee attacks, make him freeze himself. I think it's only three times this time. I think it's, I feel like it's one less time than the previous time we faced him. Uh, and then deal with him when, when he does his rage out fire mode. Um, if you are struggling with this and you, and you find like, you know, you're not doing enough damage, you don't have enough defenses, that kind of thing. This is the place where, or the time where you want to start making sure you're upgrading your mods. So make sure you're using your endo on your defensive mods and serration and, and that kind of stuff. Make sure your, your base mods have, have leveled up a bit. If you need to, obviously go ahead and, and go into some dark sector missions to, uh, to get yourself the extra credits and, and, and that kind of thing. Um, either way, once both of these are down, time to extract your first frost part. And much like the rest of the Warframes up to this point, the uh, the, blue th the blueprint will be purchasable from the marketplace. This was a little longer than the other ones, actually. Hopefully I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Have fun with Frost.